Evelyn's days were punctuated by routine. Rise with the sun, make coffee with just a splash of milk, and listen to the bird song as she reviewed her tasks for the day. The house she and her husband, Mark, lived in was an old Victorian, nestled on the outskirts of Larkwood Village. With its ivy-covered walls and ancient oak trees dotting the expansive yard, it was as picturesque as it was isolated. But the solitude was what they had both craved. Away from the bustle of city life, this was their refuge, a place to create memories and grow old together. The village was small, just a smattering of houses and shops, but the community was tight-knit. Everyone knew everyone, making their life here even more idyllic. However, since they moved in, there were whispers. Old Mrs. Henderson from the village bakery had once mentioned, That house has seen its share of stories, my dear. Evelyn had dismissed it as the ramblings of an old woman who perhaps had seen too many years. But then there was the postman's hesitation every time he delivered their mail, and the way some locals would change their walking path just to avoid passing near their home. Small oddities that she could never truly explain. It wasn't just the external whispers, either. At times, Evelyn felt the house had a pulse of its own. The way the floorboards would creak without reason, or the wind seemed to howl just a touch more mournfully here. Yet she had always considered these as the quirks of an old home, charming, if a bit eerie at times. The day Mark announced he had to leave for a work trip was like any other. Breakfast, laughter, plans for the evening. But when he mentioned it would be for a month, a cold knot formed in Evelyn's stomach. I don't like leaving you alone here, Mark admitted, his brow furrowed. But duty called, and soon he was packing, and she was left waving him goodbye, watching his car disappear into the distance. That night, as darkness wrapped itself around the house, Evelyn felt a prickle of unease. She shrugged it off, attributing it to the loneliness and the echoing silence of the vast house. But deep down, a whispering voice reminded her of the stories, the avoidance, the eerie atmosphere. As she tucked herself into bed, she felt the weight of the isolation pressing down on her. Little did she know the real story was just about to begin. The first few nights without Mark were uneventful. Evelyn busied herself with tasks she had been postponing, organizing the attic, painting the guest room, gardening. Yet, with every passing day, a growing sense of unease settled within her, like an itch she couldn't quite reach. It started innocuously enough. One evening, as Evelyn was engrossed in a novel, she heard it, a faint knock at the front door. Pausing, she strained her ears, but the sound didn't repeat. She rationalized it as the house settling or perhaps the wind playing tricks. But when the same knock, soft yet distinct, returned the following night, she couldn't help but feel alarmed. Taking tentative steps, she approached the door, peeking through the peephole. Nothing. The porch was bathed in the soft glow of the outside light, but it was empty. No signs of any visitor. Shaking off her apprehension, she double-checked the locks and decided to call it a night. However, the oddities didn't stop at the unexplained knocks. Over the next few days, Evelyn began noticing subtle shifts within the house. Her coffee mug, usually left on the kitchen counter, was now on the dining table. A book she was sure she'd placed on the nightstand was found on the living room couch. At first, she brushed these off, attributing them to her forgetfulness. But then, one morning, she discovered her grandmother's locket, an heirloom she always kept in her jewelry box, buried in the soil of her potted plant. Panic rose like bile in her throat. Opening it, a folded photograph tumbled out. The snapshot displayed Evelyn, seemingly candid, standing in front of her house. The image was unsettlingly recent, and her unsuspecting posture made the intrusion even more chilling. Tucked behind the photo was a note, bearing a single, haunting word. Mine. It was then that Evelyn realized she wasn't just misplacing things. Someone, or something, was moving them. And the implications of that were too terrifying to consider. She began double-checking every window, every door, ensuring they were locked tight before the sun went down. The following evening, the knock returned, this time a bit more persistent. 
Heart pounding, Evelyn approached the door, ready to confront her unseen tormentor. And as she peered out, she caught the briefest glimpse of a figure retreating into the shadows, tall, male, with a stride that suggested he was in his prime. The back of his jacket fluttered as he moved, disappearing from her line of sight. Fear held her in its icy grip. The sinister games had escalated. She wasn't alone in this, and the intruder was all too real. Sleep became elusive for Evelyn. Every sound, every shadow seemed magnified in the stillness of the night. Each creak of the old house felt like a threat. After the chilling photograph discovery, she knew she needed help. The following morning, with a deep breath, she called the police department. Officer Barnes was the first to arrive, a seasoned cop with kind eyes and a gentle manner. This isn't the first time someone's reported disturbances here, he admitted, casting a wary glance around the house. The police launched an immediate investigation. Word quickly spread through the small community, and while some whispered behind closed doors, others offered Evelyn words of support and comfort. The breakthrough came when Detective Mitchell, who was in charge of reviewing the town's surveillance footage, made a discovery. We've got two unfamiliar faces here, he declared, motioning Evelyn to view the footage. The grainy videos showed two men loitering around the village's outskirts. One seemed aimless, possibly just a drifter, but the other... Evelyn's breath caught in her throat as recognition dawned. That's... that's Jake, she stammered. The memories flooded back. College days, whispered promises, and a relationship that ended abruptly, leaving behind bitterness and resentment. Eight years had passed, but she could never forget those eyes, even if they now looked cold and distant. Officer Barnes's brow furrowed. You know this man? At Evelyn's nod, he continued, We'll do everything to ensure your safety. Stay vigilant and report anything unusual. Days turned into tense nights, and while the police presence around her house increased, the mysterious knocks ceased. It was as if Jake had melted away, sensing the dragnet closing in. Just when Evelyn dared to breathe a little easier, believing the nightmare might be over, the most bone-chilling event took place. On the fifth night after the police's involvement, as the clock struck midnight, a deafening knock echoed through the house, followed by a shout that sent shivers down her spine. Mine! Paralyzed with fear, Evelyn could only clutch her phone and dial for help. The police arrived in record time but found no trace of an intruder. Mark's return the next day provided a bittersweet relief. As they embraced, the haunted look in Evelyn's eyes suggested that while this chapter might be over, the story was far from its conclusion.